The Pixel Visual Core is a special piece of silicon that's unique to Google's Pixel 2 phones. In short, it's a custom chip designed to help with the Pixel's HDR Plus image processing. That's the computational secret source that makes the Pixel 2 camera so great. But it's also a little misunderstood. The Visual Core isn't necessarily used in every photo the Pixel takes, even since Google enabled it by default in the February update for the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. So I'm going to take a step back here and go over what the Pixel Visual Core is, what it does and doesn't do, and the differences now that Pixel 2 owners can use it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more explainers like this, and we'll get started. The Pixel Visual Core is a physical chip. It's an 8-core processor that lives on your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL circuit board, and it's separate from the main system on a chip, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. The 835 includes a CPU, GPU, cellular radios, and a bunch of other stuff. The Visual Core is a separate image processing unit, or IPU, and its sole purpose, right now at least, is to run Google's HDR Plus image processing algorithms on the Pixel 2's camera. HDR Plus is basically the secret weapon that makes the Pixel camera as amazing as it is. Without getting too deep into the technical weeds here, HDR Plus doesn't just take a single exposure, it captures a ton of data from the image sensor at different settings, and then crunches the numbers, with a bit of machine learning, to turn it into the best possible photo. This is called computational photography, and it's why the Pixel 2 crushes most other smartphone cameras, especially in shots with low light or high dynamic range. The downside is that number crunching, up until now, has been handled by the Snapdragon and CPU. That's fine in terms of image quality, but it takes more time and uses more power than your garden variety smartphone camera. The original Pixel and Pixel XL were great examples of the main disadvantage of computational photography on a phone. They took great photos, but you could quickly drain the battery because HDR Plus running on a Snapdragon 821 used up so much juice. Because it's custom built for computational photography, the Pixel Visual Core is faster and more efficient at processing HDR+. Google tells us HDR Plus runs five times faster on the Visual Core compared to the Snapdragon 835, while also using just a tenth of the power. So speed and power consumption are two major problems the Pixel Visual Core aims to solve, but there's another benefit as well. If you're a long-time Android user, you've probably noticed that photos from your phone's stock camera app almost always look better than shots taken directly in apps like Instagram or Snapchat. On Pixel phones, the difference is particularly noticeable because these apps couldn't use HDR+. In the February 2018 update, Google solves this problem by opening up the Pixel Visual Core to third-party apps. It does this thanks to a combination of new Artificial Intelligence APIs added in Android 8.1 and the Camera 2 API added all the way back in Android Lollipop. That means any app built for Android 8.1 that uses the camera APIs correctly should just work with the Pixel Visual Core, with all of the image quality, speed, and power-saving benefits. And that includes big names like Instagram, Snapchat, and WhatsApp. If you have a Pixel 2 or 2XL on the latest software, then photos taken in these apps should look just as good as shots taken in the Pixel camera app. To show the difference, I took a couple of indoor shots in bad lighting in the Instagram app on two Pixel phones, a Pixel 2 running the January update with the Visual Core disabled, and a Pixel 2 XL with the February update and the Visual Core switched on. The photo without HDR Plus doesn't look terrible, but when you get close with a side-by-side -side comparison, it's easy to see where HDR Plus helps out, and that's all thanks to the Visual Core. There's more definition to fine details in the new update, exposure is more even, and there's significantly less chroma noise as well. It's pretty obvious that giving apps like Instagram access to the Visual Core just results in much better looking photos all round. Curiously, Google's only talking about the Pixel Visual Core in third-party apps right now. The recent announcement doesn't mention the stock Pixel camera app itself, and as far as I can tell, as of early February, the built-in camera app still processes HDR Plus on the CPU, not the Visual Core. I'd be willing to bet that some future update to the Pixel camera app will probably switch handling HDR Plus to the Visual Core, but so far Google isn't talking about when or even if this will happen. If the main camera app does start using the Visual Core though, you'll get the same great photos you get right now on the Pixel 2, only processed faster with less of a battery hit. If you're watching this in the future, why not hit the comments and let me know if I got it right. Anyway, if it happens, consider it a bonus. Right now though, the Pixel Visual Core is just a fancy bit of silicon that unlocks the magic of the Pixel 2's cameras for third-party apps. Head to androidcentral.com to find out how to update your Pixel to the latest software if the new update hasn't arrived on your phone yet, and subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss all of our future coverage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.